So I like this little uh, trick right here to build this. So there's no JavaScript there. That's all HTML and CSS. Pretty cool, right? A little flyout menu. So how, how can you think about making that happen with what you know? Yeah, transition, perfect. Negative value on position, right? Display position, left, negative something, get it out of the way. And then when something else happens, you know, run a transition and bring that position back out to the right and uh, have it ease in. And so what's happening here is uh, this is a, a text box. And it's actually the label for a text box. So you could click the label to toggle the checkbox on and off. And we've told the checkbox not to be displayed, only we want the label displayed. Right? And so now when the label is checked, then you know uh, this other element, you know, bring its position out to here. When it's unchecked, uh, move its position back out to there. It says you check and uncheck the label aka text box here, right? Another element moves in and out. Now so this other element, how do we get the CSS to react to uh, something else being checked? So let's just go and, and build this up ourselves and then we'll come back and look at it. 25 CSS checkbox trick, okay? And we'll do uh, <coughs> index and we'll do a main and split vertically and uh, and so we want a checkbox and we want a checkbox with a label and so MDN checkbox and input type checkbox right and then MDN label and a label. Element represents caption for an item or user interface. And label for ID. And so we're going to have input type checkbox. Okay. And then we'll give it an ID. An ID will be Waka Baka. And we'll have a label. And that'll be for Waka Baka. And we can say click me. And then over here in our CSS, uh, you know, I guess we have to do the HTML body label input div and uh, content padding zero, margin zero, border zero, box sizing border box, and then we will do body display flex height 100 viewport height and justify content center and align items center and uh, and now for uh, input uh, input type equals checkbox okay display none and for what are you doing and for label we could have uh, width a border, let's do a border of uh, two picks solid crimson. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Click me. And uh, I don't know, we'll try font size. And the font size will be what? 64 pixels. And that could be also, if it's 16 is the default, 16 goes into 64 four times, so we could say it's 4 rim, and that will be the same. And then if we set the padding on that, the padding could be content padding. We can make that 20 pixels, so push that out. And then we could do border radius and 50%, and we'll go with 10%. It's a weird bend. I want like more of a round on the corner. So would 10 pixels give me something different? 
20 pixels. See, I like that round better than the percent. Isn't that weird? And then uh, uh, we could do a back uh, label hover background color of like, I don't know. Okay. Cool. So now we, we have something over here which, uh, and we have love ha linked, visited, hover, active. That's not going to help us, right? Um, but I'm wondering if, uh, if checked is one of the things we could do. And so if we have input type checkbox, can we do checked? Checked. Okay. And if it's checked, we could, if we wanted to, we could say display. Uh, and what's the default display? Or what, what's one of the display options to go from none to what? It's a none now. What is it? How do I get, take it from none back to displaying? What I, what I name it? What are my display choices? Maybe make it inline or inline block or block. Let's see what happens. We'll make a block. Oh, the checkbox just showed up. <laughs> right? I'm going to try inline, see what inline looks like. Same thing. Right? But that little checkbox just showed up. We don't want that checkbox. We never want it. But here, when it's checked, it shows up. So we're just testing that. So now, what can we do? What was that selector? That is like the immediate sibling following, but no more. I just want the one sibling that follows, but no more. It's, you know, if you're going to RSVP for an event, it's going to be you plus one. Right? And so I could say, hey, when that's, I could have this here. I could have a div. And let me just make my div. And I'll have this be position, I don't know, because otherwise it's going to be, um, I'll have this be position fixed and top zero and left negative 500 pixels, okay? And height, 100 viewport height. Hi. Hey. You're going to like this trick. Can I, can I interrupt you? Yeah, absolutely. Y'all, this is Rio Waller. Hey. Hey. Rio's awesome. You, well, hey. all of you had her. Most hey. of you have had her in the class, hey. right? Hey. Hey, uh, I have a couple of Death Fest tickets. Woo! Anybody that would like Oh, them? yeah. So, oh, wow. Death Fest Waller, Sunday. You need to email me like okay. today, okay? So, Rio Waller at Gmail. I think I have two tickets left. Awesome. So please. As Vina's got one, she already said yes. So there's one ticket left, and Sid's got one. Okay, so Rio Waller at Gmail. I will send you the code. You need to register today, though, because this is my last day to use my tickets. All right, as Vina and Sid, if anybody else wants to get waitlisted behind them, yeah. also send yeah, her an email in case a few more open up. Yeah. Rio, have you seen this? Mm -hmm. The checkbox trick. Uh, okay, so this is all. This is all right here. CSS. Oh, yes. yes, yes. Yeah, where it's like the label, you click the label on the checkbox, and you do first child, and it's the immediate div afterwards that you nice. have it do stuff. Nice, I haven't used it. Isn't that cool? Maybe I have. Maybe I show me the code again. So uh, here we have a label, and we have a checkbox, and we say don't split, display that checkbox. And when you click the label, right, when, it's, when the checkbox becomes checked, and so now you can say, okay, so the immediate sibling after which would be the div which would be the div right the immediate div after that oh, yeah, yeah. now i could style it and bring its position from i could bring its position from uh uh, uh i could bring its left to left to zero nice. and i'll bring it out yeah i haven't done that and i could do transition all yeah cool 
I have a little ways to go. I get nervous when you watch me. I'm like, ah. <laughs> If you got a couple, if you got a couple of minutes, I'll be able to bang it out. But I know, I know you're busy. Okay, no daughter, no nothing. Transition time. Send it to me now. If you want on the wait list, send it to me now as well. Okay. Sorry to interrupt you. No, awesome. Thanks for interrupting. All right. So when it's checked, it goes there. And uh, I'm wondering if uh, when it's unchecked, right, I think we need to bring it, bring it back. And, um, and so maybe we would need this line here. And, uh, and that div, when it's uh, not checked, right, so that it goes back and forth. I'm not sure if that's the right, but isn't that the immediate sibling? And so then our div, we're going to do a border on it of like one, two pixels, it's all black, and a background color just so we could see it. Of uh, sure, we'll do that one. And uh, I don't know. Seems like there should be something else. Just barely seeing it right there. I didn't give it any width, right? So I'm gonna give it a width, and the width will be uh, if I'm saying go 500 over that way and then come back to zero. I'll make it 450 pixels. Just to really get it off the screen. But why is it going so fast? Isn't it two seconds? No. Transition, timing function, duration, duration, that's what I want. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that so fancy? I love that. I'm taking you right to the edge of my abilities here. I wish that we had a teacher who like could teach us things beyond. The next stuff we're gonna, you know, to look at would be like uh, using some sort of a framework and also moving into uh, SCSS. And I think that uh, I need to start doing a little bit prep work before class <laughs> and putting that material together. I love that right there. Isn't that awesome? And it makes sense, right? It's a little bit hacky, but but it's also like no JavaScript. On my screen, it doesn't. It, it ripples a little bit. I get a little breaking of the image. So that's one of the things you look at: is how do you get things smooth? All right, I love it. <laughs>